Bladensburg police shot and wounded a man. They say he tried to run them down with a stolen car. This all started on 57th Avenue. It ended after a high speed chase on Good Hope Road in Southeast DC. Scott Broom is in Bladensburg with some community reaction. 57th Avenue and Jefferson Street here in Bladensburg. People are intimidated by crime here, which is why the woman who spoke to me today about last night's shooting by police did not want to appear on camera. My daughter came from the grocery store. I think he parked this car. He saw somebody like going under my car, like hiding. She saw somebody hiding under yeah, your car. So she immediately called the police. Bladensburg police say they confronted two suspects and immediately arrested one, but a second man jumped in a stolen car to flee. This video from last night shows a damaged police car and markers in the street where shell casings fell after police opened fire on that fleeing driver. Here's Bladensburg Chief Tyrone Collington. This individual was clearly intended on running over our officers. Uh, he rammed one of our, our cruisers and attempted to ram a second cruiser and to have a 4,000 pound um, weapon speeding at you, uh, you, you're going to be forced to make split second decisions. According to Collington, the wounded driver fled in the shot up car with police in pursuit. It ended on Good Hope Road in southeast Washington with the suspect in custody. Collington said he had non life threatening wounds to his upper body. This individual did drive his car with his hood. Uh, fully extended after ramming into our cars and he made it from here back to southeast D.C. with his hood uh, wide open. Uh, so it's a miracle that no uh, motors were injured and no innocent uh, pedestrians walking along the sidewalk or crosswalks were injured by this individual who was hell bent on escaping from us. We're scared to even take our trash out because you don't know what's going to happen next. This type of crime, yes, is very alarming to us. Every morning when we wake up, our glass will be breaking two, three cars a day, four cars. This is every day. And we will continue to uh, show our presence down in that area to make sure that these type of crimes you know, don't occur. Chief Collington said the shooting by his officers here will be reviewed with the help of Prince George's County Police. The wounded suspect was taken to a hospital and police have not announced his identity. In Bladensburg, Scott Broom, WUSA 9.